The bishop has said that he, he, he wants to take this whole area of uh, prayer and worship more seriously and, and to encourage the diocese to take it more seriously. Um, this leaves me with the question of how I start by approaching this and I think the, the most important thing is to really make people aware of what's already going on because there's so much good work already happening in this diocese in this area. We have many gifted people and I think the first part of my job is just to help people be aware of what's going on already. One of the things we need to do is collect, connect more with the spiritual side of people. There's all, already we, we have this sense in which we're in a country where people are exploring. They're looking for something. I actually went along to the Mind, Body and Spirit Day at Derby University, which is an event that takes place quite frequently. And I was amazed to see the people who were there. I expected to see people of my age, sort of leftover hippies. But in fact, there were a wide selection of people, generations, men, women, many of them young professionals. And it's quite apparent that people are seeking. We're in a generation that are looking for answers. The financial situation that we're facing at the moment has brought people up against the realities of life. And I think part of our task as a church is to make them realize that many of the things they're looking for, the church has had for 2,000 years. We're presented with many opportunities as the established church. The Church of England is the place where people come, in most cases, to marry, to have their children baptised and at times when they've lost a loved one. And I think these do present tremendous opportunities and are, we need to be able to express to people in words that they can understand what the Christian faith means. For example, um, when, whenever I do a baptism, um, you'll have a large number of people there who aren't church members. and. Uh, I still insist that we, we do the confession and I always say at the beginning to people it's not because we think you're an evil lot, it's the fact that everybody who comes to church actually realises that we all need God's help and that one of the wonderful gifts that the church has that if we are truly sorry God gives us the chance to start again and if we can just get those sort of messages across to people that, that it's a new life a new opportunity, a new chance, and many people are carrying around with them many problems, and through prayer and through worship and through spirituality, we can offer a way for people to find a better way of living. People often ask me, how do you get through the day? What is it that gives you the strength to get through the day? Um, and I find I need some time and space with God for some people that can be in just in silence, but as I've discovered, there is, I find one of my great times is actually just I get up half past six in the morning and I walk my dogs for a couple of miles. And when I'm out in the fields or in a park and they're running around, that gives me just some time and space. And I think that's what we all need. We need each of us to find what is the way that we can be close to God. I remember once doing a a visit of a large number of school children to, to one of my churches and we were always keen on encouraging children to come in and we had this terrible moment where one of the teachers sort of took over and pointed at a hassock and said that's what you use to pray and ever since then I've always gone with the children and said you know each of us has a different way of praying and we need to find the way that helps us be close to God.